Rights of the wife, we'll start with the financial ones. The wife has three financial rights. Okay, so let's count four. Four financial rights. The first right is called the mahar, the dowry at the time of marriage. The second one is the day-to-day -day living expenses. Food, drink, clothing, security, medical expenses, transport for her needs, hygiene products, and a difference of opinion, but I follow the valid view of the jurist, which is the majority, her beauty products. So long as she uses her beauty products for her home. <laughs> Can you imagine he buys her beauty products and she uses them everywhere except for him? Except for her home. No. No, don't do that. Number three, her housing. She has a right to her own independent, separate housing and dwelling accommodation to his parents or anyone else with all of its amenities. This is her right. Sometimes when I do marriages, they ask me to write that as a condition. And I get surprised, wallahi, that Muslims still until now, 1,400 years, we still don't know that the wife has a right to her dwelling. We still think that we have to obey our parents in when we get married, we have to live with them according to their command. And if we leave, the dua will get us. No, no, your parents are in the wrong. They're in the haram for doing that. And you leaving, if they, even if they get upset, Allah will reward you for giving your wife her right. This is a haq. That's not just like your parents live. Now, if she agrees to live with your parents and she's okay with that, Alhamdulillah, may Allah reward her. That's a charity. But things can go really wrong, brothers. I, I advise you, and many scholars advise, don't live with your parents unless it is a dire need. Try to get out of there because wallahi, I, the amount of conflicts I have seen, it starts off all nice and then it turns out like they are, you know what they're like? It's like, it's like, uh, I don't know, like the way Ya'juj and Ma'juj fight. Just like that, you heard, heard Gog and Magog? Like that. What happened to the love? So my advice to you, brothers and sisters, get your dwelling and be separate. And don't live too close even. Trust me. There's a beautiful rule I heard. Well, it's excellent by the experts. They said, this is one husband said to his wife in relation to the in-laws and his own parents. He said, don't cut them off completely. But don't be clingy. So don't be clingy, but don't cut off somewhere in between. That's a very healthy relationship.